two great clients named Bud Yorkin and Norman Lear. And they were, I think, 10 days from shooting, which has become kind of a standard procedure for me. I seem to come in at the last minute and, uh, and concoct something so that shooting isn't held up. And Debbie Reynolds, um, we took to MGM and quickly put together things. Dick Van Dyke was such a joy. It was a wonderful script. Oh, so funny. Our cinematographer was Conrad Hall, and our operator was Bill Fraker. That's what a great put-together that was. We shot all over the city. Norman always writes the funniest scripts, I think, based on his own life and experiences, and that was about his first divorce, I think. Um, could you describe Norman Lear personally and professionally? A great gentleman and kind, so literate, and yet so funny. Um, his energy is quite awe-inspiring. Because remember, I used to follow him around from run through to dress rehearsal to taping. And to see him rack over for each show into a different concept, different characters, different lines. And I think he is still that way. And the last time I saw him, which was recently, I, I, I said what I always say, that the town lost a great director when he became so successful. And he said, oh, I love what I'm doing right now. So I think the, sh the shows that he backs now, they still have that meat. Could you describe Bud York in the same way, personally and professionally? I think Bud had a wonderful kind of caustic humor that was a different slant to Norman's humanity. He, Bud absolutely understood uh, the comedy of the human condition, which I think is one reason that, that Sanford and Son was as successful as it was. But he was a, a very different um, turn, and I think that's why they were so successful together.